So after my community post last night asking which setup guide you would like to see next, overwhelmingly we had 64 votes and it looks like Retrobats won. So for this setup guide today, we're looking at the Sega 32X on Retrobat. I'm going to be going through some video settings with you and I'm also going to be showing you five of what I believe to be the very best Sega 32X games. So totally underrated system and like I say it has got a good fair few games on the platform. So if you're interested in this obscure system by Sega check this video out. <laughs> Okay then, so before I start today's setup guide for the 32X in Retrobat, if you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content on my channel. And it's not just Retrobat I cover, I cover a whole host of different front end systems on my channel as well as standalone emulators. So we're looking at the 32X today and like I always say, your best bet to do this is go to your Retrobat shortcut right click on it open file location and we're going to open up from here back gui which is a really amazing tool we're going to go to system list and if you just drop down system and if we just search for sega 32x you're going to find it just here now the system list i've just dropped down if you don't see that please follow my comprehensive setup guide on the initial installation of retrobat it's quite likely you're missing a couple of files there so we're going to get back on with this and the file extensions for games that we need for 32x in retrobat is .32x.smd.bin.md.zip.7set so it's very versatile with your game extensions and it's pretty much going to run anything you throw at it so the Libretro RetroArch core this is going to be using is Pick a Drive, and of course, that's going to support our 32X games. Now, let me just say that 32X doesn't require BIOS. So, if we close out of here, what we're going to do then is just go to the ROMs folder, which you can find in your Retrobat directory. And if we just scroll down, you're going to literally find Sega 32X, and here it is. Obviously, this is going to be empty if this is your first time. So inside of my 32X folder, I've got five Sega 32X games. And as we can see, these are in .32X file extension and they work just fine. So I'm going to copy these inside of my ROMs folder in Retrobat Sega 32X. And we're going to close all this down. And now let's open up Retrobat. Okay then, so we're inside Retrobat and we can see Sega Mega Drive 32X. So this system was called many different things. It was called the 32X, the Mega Drive 32X, I believe the Super 32X in Japan. So let's go inside here. Here's our games. Let's get some artwork. So main menu, scraper, and here we go. So like I say in most of my videos, in terms of scraping, we've got scrape from and if you find some games aren't picked up then we got a selection here of different scraping databases generally though screen scraper is the best to do this so our games are now scraped so main menu game settings update game list and yes okay here we go so let's actually download a new theme because the way this is presented don't actually look that clever so updates and downloads themes and i'm going to download the alec 4 nx Install. So I'm currently using the beta version 6 version of Retrobat. If you're using the stable version, the current version, this is still going to work the same. Okay, so you supply that new theme, user interface settings, theme set, Alec 4 NX, and back. And here we go, this looks a lot better. So let's take a look at our options for Sega 32X. So press select button, view options, advanced system options, emulator. And as we can see, we have got the Libretro Pick a Drive port, which works fine. So I'm gonna leave this selected to auto so it picks up and it runs from Pick a Drive. 
So as for the other settings, I'm going to leave everything on default now and we're going to test out our first game, which is Doom. And you know what, for a console port of Doom, I think that one's a really nice port. It's not bad, it's even got music in there. There's much worse around, such as the Atari Jaguar port and the 3DO port. So what we're gonna do next then is take a look at some video settings. So we're gonna go to main menu, game settings, and we're gonna take a look at all in some video settings. We're gonna go to shader set. And as always, we got a nice selection here of different filters or shaders to use, including scan lines, and we also got another shader set handheld if you want a almost handheld aesthetic about it so for this i'm going to go to enhanced decorations i'm going to select none on this one and game aspect ratio i'm going to pop this onto full integer scaling i'm going to switch this to on it's going to take away some pixelation if that's what you're into and i'm also going to enable bilinear filtering again this is going to take away some pixelation so let's very briefly check out doom again with these new video settings applied Okay, not bad, so it's not tidied up ever so much, not like we can do with some systems, but there is a slight noticeable difference there. So next up, we're gonna go back to game settings again, and we're gonna change back to auto under shader set this time, and under decorations, I'm gonna select default unglazed. Now remember, if you're using a decoration, but you wanna change the game aspect ratio, really, you need to be putting this onto auto. So let's check out Knuckles Chaotix. So really cool game Knuckles Chaotix. 
So next up, we've got this interesting nature game called Colibri. Conibri, really interesting game and I'm pretty confident that should have been a Commodore Amiga game. So next up I'm going to be showing you Star Wars Arcade. Attention, no. Wipe out enemy fighters. So a really fun game and next on the list we have got Virtual Racing Deluxe. I'm actually going to change some video settings and virtual racing deluxe see if we can make this look a little bit better so we're going to go to main menu game settings shader set i'm going to pop this one on to enhance decorations i'm going to totally take away by selecting none game aspect ratio i'm going to try custom on this one and leaving integer scaling and bilinear filtering on let's go back into the game
So that's it for my Retro Bat and Sega 32X setup guide today. As you can see, it's a fairly simple system for Retro Bat to get up and running without no BIOS files needed. And surprisingly, the small library that the 32X had actually hasn't got some bad games of it if you give them a test yourselves. So anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notifications, subscribe and like, and also check me out on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.